Join Lori Moore as she disconnects from technology and reconnects with the hands-on projects she loves. She might just inspire you to spend more time offline too. Hey everyone, it's Lori, and on this weekend's edition of More Time Offline, I am finally getting around to a project that I was planning on doing three years ago. Three years ago, we had our house remodeled, and it had these beautiful corner hutches that I just loved. I'm not sure Joel loved them as much as I did, but I really loved them. And when we were doing demo, I grabbed both of the doors and threw them in the garage and they have been sitting out there for the last three years collecting dirt and dust. So my first step is going to be to take my sander and I'm going to sand this down, get rid of all of the um, dirt and buildup that's on it and give it a good scrub. I'm opting to keep the hardware on here. Once it's sanded, I'm gonna decide if I want to um, add a little bit of paint to it or leave it looking uh, more rustic. And then I'm going to take gallery glass. This is a stained glass, I don't know what I'd call it, I guess just liquid. And um, you apply it to the glass and it, it comes in colors. I've opted for clear because I'm just going for more of a um, textured, weathered appearance. So we'll see how it goes. Looks great on Pinterest, but I've never worked with it before. So stick with me and I will show you the process and the finished product. I figured I should mask up um, since I will be sanding. <laughs> Sanding is done and I've cleaned all of the and glass. Now I'm going to apply my gallery glass and clear. And there's just a tiny little hole in the top here. You don't shake it. Um, I'm going to squeeze it and just apply in a swirling motion very generously. I'm hoping this one container will do this whole panel but i don't know and it takes eight hours for this to dry and seven days for it to fully cure so i'll check back with you when i'm done and we'll see what it looks like in eight hours okay so it has been over eight hours and i wanted to show you where my project is at it is not completely finished because i ran out of gallery glass so i had an eight ounce bottle probably should have gotten two of them so i need to order one but here's where i'm at i sanded down for the rustic look not 100 percent sure how i'm feeling about it i may end up um giving it a fresh coat of paint, but I'm gonna leave it for now. And you can see the effect that it has on the glass. It makes it kind of semi-transparent. If you're looking for something new to try, gallery glass, it was super easy to use, not very messy at all. Um, I recommend playing around with it. It does come in different colors, so you can do um, different stained glass effects. I hope I've inspired you to spend a little more time offline this weekend. Mm -hmm.